And you mentioned specifically the word staging it accurately. And, um, you know, we talked a little bit about using pathology report, give you some information and staging it accurately using uh, sentinel lymph node biopsy, which is a really, really valuable procedure uh, for prognosis. Maybe you can first walk us through about what exactly is a sentinel lymph node and how do you do the procedure? Exactly like you can, if you give us more details in terms of when did they come in, what to expect. So if anyone needs that procedure, they can have some idea what this is like. Sure, sure. Well, I don't want to give you all my trade secrets, but <laughs> we can go into Trust some. me, I, I won't go into the OL. <laughs> and, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Not the bad. job is secured. Yeah, a synodal node, um, I think the most, the best way to describe it is the first lymph node that an antigen such as a melanoma cell will come in contact with. Uh, and it's a the first defense in our body against uh, cancerous cells and also against certain types of infections. Uh, every part of the skin drains to one lymph node. And by drainage, I mean the skin has a lot of uh, uh, little tubules called lymphatics and they carry antigen or foreign body to uh, a specific lymph node. And the lymph node is usually located in a lymph node basin, such as under the armpit, in the groin, sometimes in the neck. So our job is to find that, that draining lymph node called the sentinel lymph node. And why that is important, um, it has really evolved over the last two decades. Initially, we thought that this lymph node uh, gave us an indication as to how aggressive the cancer, the tumor cell is, in this case, the melanoma cell. But I think in reality, what we've learned over the last two decades is that it's really an indication of how robust or how uh, uh, normal the lymph node is in, or the immune system is in preventing progression of disease. So in other words, if you have a sentinel lymph node that is normal, it's probably, it, it contains a lot of white blood cells, lymphocytes that are able to uh, combat the progression of the melanoma cell from growing within that lymph node. Whereas if the immune system is not normal or is somehow affected possibly by the tumor cell itself, then uh, the melanoma cell is able to grow rapidly within the lymph node. And that's what we wanna find out. We wanna find out uh, whether the melanoma has progressed within our sentinel lymph node, because that really gives us an indication of the patient's disease. And like I stated, the stage of the disease, which plays an important role as to how we should treat the patient. So as a summary, the sentinel lymph node biopsy, the sentinel lymph node is a very, very important prognostic, give you the prognostic information, tell you whether or not this melanoma is locally localized uh, only on the skin or has spread to a distant part, right? So you talked about the nodal basin. Let's say if you have a lymph, if you have a melanoma on the head, it would drain around to the neck. If it's on the arm or the back, it would drain to the uh, armpit. If it's on the leg, it would drain towards the groin area. Now, with that information, 